Hello friends, and welcome back to Pixar Nerd Studios, where today I am going to be drawing Spider-Man vs. Kindred. If you guys don't know, Kindred is a villain that was created in the Volume 5 of Amazing Spider-Man by Nick Spencer, and he is basically an undead demon who came back from the grave and is fighting Spider-Man for a reason that has not been revealed. We don't know who he is, well then again, they teased us at the end of Spider-Man number 50, which came out yesterday, which was Wednesday, August 14th on the time I'm recording this, but they have not revealed anything other than a little hint, so that's interesting, but the reason why I'm drawing this is because I thought this would be a good idea, so what I'm doing is I am going to be drawing a homage to the Amazing Spider-Man number 39 cover from... 1963, where Spider-Man and Green Goblin uh, are in masks to each other for the first time. So that's when Peter Parker finds out that Norman Osborn is a Green Goblin, and that Norman Osborn finds out that Peter Parker is Spider-Man, and vice versa. So that's going to be really interesting to see, and especially in my style, because my style is very different from John Romero's. So it's going to be really interesting to see, and without further ado, let's get into the drawing. Alright, so as you can see, I start out by sketching the main cover. I trace over the cover um, and add all the uh, details for Kindred and Spider-Man. So I start by adding the hands in my own style, um, and then go add the details of his pants and shirt and face. And then I go into his hair, which is his 60s style hair, because I'm basing it off of a piece from the 60s. And then I start doing Kindred, who sort of looks like a mummy now that I think about it, which is convenient since it's Halloween and October, so it's convenient. Um, so in the original piece, uh, the Green Goblin is flying around on a goblin glider, but since Kindred has no ability to fly that I know of, um, I gave him a giant um, centipede to f fly on, technically speaking. And that is... <laughs> it sort of lowers the... Um, severity of Kindred because you can't take him seriously with a giant centipede even though centipedes are really scary so it, I mean it's just more um what's the word comical <laughs> so after I do that I go into inking I just do my normal inking style where I try and do really round shapes and where I can I do some um some very square shapes in there but um, something different about this piece is that I decided to play with line thickness. So some pieces, such as Spider-Man's webbing, have different thicknesses than, say, his shoes. And you can see that a lot with Kindred, where his um, his giant overcoat has a thicker line density than his bandages, which is something that I feel that I need to try and do with most of my pieces. And because of that, I feel like this is one of my favorite drawings I've ever done because of how much detail I decided to put into this drawing. Um, it really shows how much I love the Spider-Man character along with this new run by Nick Spencer. Um, so that's really interesting. And so after I finish rounding out all of the characters, I go and do the background, which is really simple um, until I get to the windows because windows are always hard. And then I get the colors from the original drawing and just put them over onto my piece, so I just take the grays and reds from Spider-Man, and then I take the um, colors that were in the comic panel reference I used for Kindred, and go and add them to that, uh, to Kindred as well. As you can see with his bandages, I do different grays, because I didn't want to just use one gray, because that would be boring. And then after I do that, I go and create a gradient based off of what the cover originally had, and then I add my signature thick black outline outside of it. Um, if you notice, I decided to remove it from his tentacle, or his, not his tentacle, his giant scorpion, or centipede rope. And then I start um, adding my normal uh, shading and um, just go and blur it out uh, and just add a little bit of a gradient effect to it. And then after all that, uh, the piece is done. Are you guys ready to see the final drawing? Because here it is in three, two, one.
did you guys like this week's drawing? Um, please tell me in the comments below, and if you liked this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, it's free and it helps out a ton, and if you want to unsubscribe, you can do that anytime you want. Anyways, I've been Pixar Nerd, and I'll see you guys in another video. Have a wonderful rest of your day.